Hello guys, welcome to my page, I'm America. Hope you're doing well. Women, stop defending your abusive partner. Stop defending man where they beat you. If you're in an abusive marriage, please live when you can live with your life. Know when to live. Don't stay there and buy yourself all in the name you want to stay married. No marriage is perfect, remember. And no human being is perfect. Forget all these things you are seeing on Facebook. Some of them, they are dying and smiling. Don't stay in a home where they will buy you. This story is about Madanze and Nengoruva. Sorry if I don't pronounce that name very well. I beg. It's not my language, okay? These two people, people know them very well. Very, very well. They are popular in South Africa. The man is a comedian. But that man is very abusive. The man, they beat the woman like Shige. They say they panel beat this woman, eh? Not only the woman, with the children. If they beat, also beat his own children. To a point that he, one time, put his own child inside dog's cage. And they said that the dog almost bite this child. The woman will come out on social media and be laughing. Oh, it's okay. We have settled. It's fine. But you are dying inside. You are dying slowly. It got to a point that this, ma this woman reported him. Thank God for some women rights activists that, you know, show, uh, uh, get themselves involved. Social workers and uh, um, some NGOs that, you know, try to help those women. Before you know it again, she will change. Oh, it's okay. We have settled. Everything is fine. And the man who is all, he's always making video with the, this woman. Whenever they have issue and the woman call out for help, the next minute they will settle. The man will come out and be making video with this woman, telling them, oh, mind your business. It's okay. We have settled. Love is strong. Love is this. Nobody can separate us. All this is talk. The woman will stay there. <laughs> The last one that got this man uh, in trouble, according to the story, they said that it was too much that the, the woman called out and uh, they arrested the man. After the woman brought out all the evidence and all the wounds and everything, you know, the man went to prison. They keep the man in prison. The woman was cooperating, but end, uh, ending of January 2023, this woman changed again. All these people where they change like a lapper. Or it could be that people spoke to her again to forgive him once more. Or maybe that the charm worked on her again. I don't know. I don't know what made her to withdraw all the charges. All the charges. This woman changed again. Hi. She's supposed to show up in court with all those evidence. You know, to nail this man, this woman came there and said, "Oh, that she wants to, you know, um, stop the the trial. That she don't, she's no longer interested in the case." Everybody was shocked. Though some people have been saying that he's using charm on her, maybe, because they said many times that she has called that you will go there to help her. People will even family will come to help her before you know it. She will change again and tell you know that everything is fine. That is a husband, blah blah blah. They have children together. A very young woman, 33 years, must still die in that marriage. Why not to leave? But she wants to stay married, maybe because of what society will say. At the end of the day, what is society saying to today? Because she's no more. Now, let me continue the story. When, they, when this woman showed up and said that uh, she wants to stop the case, she's no longer interested, they discharged the man. As they were uh, heading to their house, the man was making video, mocking people, even... South African uh, uh, government. He was mocking them, making mockery of their judiciary. That, oh, look at you. Law, what is law? Love is strong. Love is this. Bah, 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 bah. We have settled. He's my beautiful wife. And I call Yeri. Two days. They said two days. Just two days. This man returned. They found the woman dead in the pit toilet. Who pushed this woman into that pit toilet? Is it the man? The man is denying. He's claiming that he's not the one. Some people are saying that maybe he, they were doing 
a prank because they said that he always do crazy prank that sometime in 2017 this man put up a prank that got all the south africans he claimed that his mother died he made it look so real that he even went to graveyard get this set up there and people were coming to sympathize with him not knowing that his mother is still alive somewhere imagine that kind of human being they were giving him money sympathizing with him somehow this thing now leaked that this 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 man's man, mother is still alive he now starts saying oh it was a prank it was a prank they said that he normally do crazy pranks that maybe he, he, he was trying to do put up a prank you know something like that and now the thing went wrong maybe maybe or that he purposely how can you buy a woman that just gave you second chance this woman just withdraw the case and let you have second chance in two days you, you buy her after the woman died two days later he reached out to the woman's family telling them that the woman died that he fell into a uh, uh, toilet each toilet how did it happen though he's back in prison they are still holding him now but my 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 own question is this what was he thinking that maybe people will not suspect him and why would he even be using charm on her if he don't love her if there was no love why keeping her that's my question if he doesn't love this woman why using charm to keep her it's not as if she was the breadwinner no I think both of them, they are doing well for themselves. But why keeping her with charm if it's true? I'm not sure. And why would that woman stay there? Why would you stay with a man that abuse you, always abuse you, not just abusing you, but always abuse you verbally and physically? Why? Why? You are not happy in that marriage. Why staying there? Ah, oh, Father Lord, how can you, for how many times are you going to keep giving such person chance? A man that does not love you, a monster does not care about his own child. You keep giving him chance, you keep forgiving him. He's good to forgive and he's good to love, but sometimes it's good to love some people afar. Stay on your own, you guys have children. You guys can still take care of your children, but stay on your own. That's why I tell people that is going through divorce. Listen, I'm not against, I'm not a, a party to those ones that will tell you, oh, stay married. Bible says you should stay married. No. If it's not working, instead of you to buy there, I beg leave. And if you're going through divorce, stop making trouble. Do it peacefully. Let everybody go their separate way. That's why when I they see people where they do their own on Facebook, they fight, they throw wet. I ask myself, are these people normal? For crying out loud, you have children with this person. Why throwing wet all the time? Why fighting? This can push one to buy you. Some people are wicked. So when you're going through divorce, just make do it peacefully. I'm going to go your way, make I go my way. And when you see that this person is very abusive, this person is demon in human form, you keep giving chance. What makes you think that the person will change? After you forgive him the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, he's still doing the same thing and you are still giving him chance. Now you won't buy yourself. May your soul rest in peace. Let's learn from this. If you cannot live when you are alive definitely they will buy you you live when you are dead live when you can live stop defending those abusive partners stop defending them i'm not telling you to leave your marriage when you guys have little issues no there are issues marriage is not perfect no marriage is perfect so when you are having little misunderstanding with your husband or your, with your wife try to fix it but when it got to one beating the other person i beg leave leave 
Look at how this man buys this woman and they're telling us that he falls into a uh, uh, toilet. How? She know the sea again. May we learn from this. May her soul rest in peace. To those of you that are still defending your husband, your abusive husband, live when you can live. Remember us, Nachi. Remember so many of them that have shared their story here. Live when you can live. And for men that got PhD in beating their wife, kudos. Continue beating. No, I'm not going to tell you to stop. Continue beating. One day you beat yourself to death. I love you guys and I'm going to see you in the next one. Stay blessed, guys. Enjoy your day. Please help me share the video, okay? Bye. Amio America. Amio America. International. I'm a classic lady. Internet a woman leader. When no they take in answer. Amio America. Ay.